Sinarin. Greetings from the Pohala Falcon and greetings from the Valentine Bay. We are rushing towards the modern world for gaining experiences, smarter technologies, and enhanced preferences as so he said. It is positive until it gets balanced. For human beings, balance is very much important. We cannot fix the success or money or advance in technologies over little happiness or environment or technological advancement. And we may lose the control over some of the fundamental facts in the social life. My topic of talk today is medical robotics, friends of doctors or aliens. I am an assistant professor and lecturer, assistant professor and chairman from the Department of Robotics and Mechatronic Engineering, University of Dhaka. My focus, my first focus is on design of robotic system. Uh, and my vision is to create a world of robotic system for the humanity which can be helpful for the humanity so that doctors can think these are the helpful for the mankind, not aliens. So, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to the world of medical robotics, considering equanimity for the modernity. Robot, what is robotics? Robotics, actually, is interdisciplinary branch of science and engineering. It includes mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, information engineering, software, and so on. Robotics uses deals design, operation, control, and software engineering for control, sensory feedback, and information processing. If you connect all these things together, Submar to give you a system. The system can work as a robot. The the chair, the table you see over there. If you insert all these things here, it can do a specific task for you, and this can be termed as a robot. But this robot, when it's used for medical system, that can be termed as a medical robot. It can be classified into two sections. Number one, robotics to assist doctors, that can be termed as a like a robotics for surgery. And when this kind of robot is used for helping people, for example, robots and machine for improving the life of the people, elderly people, disabled people, and also the robotic uh, prosthetic for using the robots and mechatronic tools for increasing the clinical assistance for the people, like the prosthetics, training, therapies, and so on. But when this kind of robotic systems are used for uh, surgery, for example, high-tech technical agents can be helpful for the doctor in to perform specific tasks, but it's not possible with, or possible, it's possible very hard to reach over there, or micro area, or prosthetics. For example, prosthetics, for example, you want to run, you want to handle some kind of object, robotic object, getting a signal from the human body, and you can design robot. And this kind of robot, medical robot, can give you some work which is helpful for the mankind. For example, I give you an example. This can be if we talk about the prosthetic. So you can design, this has been designed in my lab. You can design a hand, prosthetic hand. You can get this signal from the brain, nerve signal, you can put it up there, put it up there. You can plant an electrode in the nerve signal and also in the robotic hand, and you can actuate this thing automatically. Or the point the brain signal is coming, you can transfer them and do specific stuff. And this way, robotic could be assistive device. But how, why we need this kind of robotic system and how it can be? Correlated with the modernity 
or development. For example, uh, surgeries. Nowadays, medical robotics are used for surgical systems, for laparoscopy surgery, urology, uh, cardiothoracic, general surgery, and so on. And this kind of robotic system can be a derivative of the laparoscopic surgery where they can contribute in from different dimensions. Micro robotic things can be transferred to the human body. It can go in different places in the body and can be controlled from the outside. And the specific task would be accomplished. And it has a benefit and drawbacks. Benefit wise, for example, this integrated system for the medical robot system can be consisting of integrated technology together, synergistic technology. For example, uh, when it's incorporated with the medical system, the 3D images can give the vision to the doctor so that they can see each and every part, nerving and areas in a wide vision so that they can decide. And some areas, human hand, for the doctor's hand, is possible to reach in the micro areas, tighter area. But robot, specifically control, it can go there and far from specific task. And also, something, some other field, for example, which is not possible by human hand. For example, when the doctors try to do the operation, hands can be tremored, but the software integrated to the medical system can correct this and specifically pass specific tasks smoothly and with a high efficiency it could be possible to reach. And also it includes less blood loss, faster recovery, shorter stays in the hospital, improved customers and so on. These are the different benefits which is possible using the medical robotic system. And in that case, when these are the robotic systems are like that, the robot can work to the doctor as a friend, not alien. But on the other hand, like the coin, opposite side of the coin. So it can have the drawbacks. So if the medical robotics is applied, you can have potential impression potential bleeding, and also the cardiothoracic risk of anesthesia and so on. And also the robotic system consists in a lot of energetic technology, multi-component system together. If any of the systems do the malfunction, then it can be catastrophic. And also the power supply for the whole system is normally the electric arching. When it's, it can cause the sparking, it can cause damage, internal damage of the tissue, which can be complicated things and it can come later, complications can be arising later. These are the things needs to be considered. That's why there is for drawbacks and benefits. These things two things should be accomplished together. There should be a balance. And how this could be connected with our modernity. Modernity is a, actually insane. The attempt to increase the things and meaning of the social changes. The concept of modernity going to capture is these changes in progress contrasting the modern and tradition. In the modern world, in the modern society, the world is experienced as human construction is experiencing the sense of accelerating freedom and possibility and also an anxiety to the openness of future. And this, all these things can give you the risk. And the risk could be for the mankind, could be threatening to the humanity. That's why there should be the balance. And also the development of technology and science and technology can create a risk to humanity as well. Previously, these kinds of risks are not actually known nowadays, the develop, with the development of the technology, you know, that's the modernity, some risk which is unknown, unknown to the human being can be high here today. For example, uh, nobody knows the risk and associated with the production of genetically produced food, modified food, or nobody actually knows how to control the outbreak of a coronavirus or how to prepare the vaccination of this virus. You see the you see the development and the drawbacks. 
the drawback is the fake energy and the development is the modern energy. So we need to have the balance between these. And I see an example, the balance of uh, the relations between this modernity and economy, that means development and slowness, calmness. So I see an example through myself. I'm a son of a farmer, middle income family, here by, from nearby, here, 10 kilometers from here, Gajipur. In 1984, my father died. And that time I was eight years old student, eight years old, eight years old boy, a student, of, a student of class two. So such a situation is a drawback, it's a break for me, it's a, an equanimity for me, how to go on. But there's an, there was an idea in me that I was thinking that there should be a focus in one area, this area was study. I was thinking that study can be enriched, strong, enriched too, which can which can make me move on. And I grasped it, and I invested all of my efforts over there, and I got the reward. What is the reward? I became first boy in different classes. I got the attention from the society. I got some scholarships in different classes in the school level. And my life was moving on. After passing SEC examination 1993, I had some free time at my hand. I started a coaching at home. Many students from the school level used to come to me and they used to pay me at the end of the month. One day my mother came to me and asked me, can you give me some money from your own income? You know how much? Can you imagine? It was just five taka. But there was Amazing situation was waiting for me. You know what is that? My mother died three days before I got the money from the student. What an equanimity for me in the advancement of life. So after passing SEC examination, I got admission in mechanical engineering, Islamic University of Technology, now where I'm standing now. Stayed there from 2003 until 2016. I did my master's, I did my research job in the university, I did job in the company, and then I did my PhD and postdoc. I had a research collaboration with 23 countries from Germany to outside in Europe and other outside of Europe, like America, Australia, African countries, North African countries, and so on. I was rushing and I had so much traveling. And this was a Sky touching development for me, so much passion for my career was very good. But this is the development, this is the modernity. But how can it correlate with this economy? The economy was lying at my home. What was that? That was my six years old son. When I was starting for traveling, my son used to stand before the window, shedding tears, oiling hands, looking at me as long as he could see I'm going away. And this is the economy. And this kind of situation enforced me to think and also created mental agony and decisions. What should I emphasis on? This kind of rushing, modernity, modernity, development, or economy for love and affection for my son. So there should be a proper balance between this When I was doing, on the other hand, when I was doing postdoc studies, I mean, I, I was performing a postdoctoral uh, research scientist job in the university, the same university. I had research within different countries in the Europe, some project funded by European Commission, and a lot of projects. I was rushing also, ha having research meetings, conferences, and talks, and so on. And I had a very good balanced job from many, many points of views. And I was actually very happy. So it was a well-paid top level job, but at the end of the day, I, I was feeling something missing. What was that? That was the gap. That was the distance between me and my origin, my Bangladesh, my roots. And 
that is the equanimity that actually that is the equanimity that brought me here from germany to bangladesh even after staying 13 years over there this has given me the time to spend for my people in bangladesh to share their views to contribute to the society to the development stays in different aspects like governmental job now so this kind of equanimity breaking actually imposed in me in germany to come back to have helped me to come back over there to start a new job in the university and this is assistant job and like in the job in the university teaching job and i am actually now very happy because i think the now i have the balanced life between the development and also the also the correlation like a social values from my family i can now this lot of time i can the student example that i can be attending here my former ground here i was studying i was studying here and i am it is possible to come back here to give you the time to share my views with you this is actually the an example between the modernity and equanimity i'm very happy actually so in my view actually this modernity and equanimity should be always balanced and if you go on this way then actually our life will be balanced and it will be actually social balance and in that way we can develop our prosperous develop world and our country will be moving forward and in that way we can contribute and everybody each other will be harmony of harmony it will be prevail here our society will be advancement our country will be friends and peace and progress thank you so much i'm sure to all